Good morning, Kurt's Cougars. Today is Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. I'm Dean Baker. Today, May 27th, is National Sunscreen Day. As I said on No Fry Friday, I hate sunscreen, but it's important to put on. Continuing in our book matchup, yesterday's winner between Charlotte's Web and the Magic Tree House was the Magic Tree House series. My guess is Jack and Annie went back in time and voted for themselves. In today's book matchup, we have two of the kindergartners' favorites, the Pigeon Books versus the Beloved Elephant and Piggy. My guess is this will be a close one. Attention all fifth graders. If you have tie-dyed a t-shirt, please remember to send Mrs. Kazar an email with a picture of you wearing it. It was a lot of fun. Well, it is Wednesday, and you know what that means. Everyone's favorite segment, Would You Rather Wednesday? Welcome back to Wednesday with Your Rathers. Today I have Dean Baker, Mrs. Spurlock, Mr. Phillips, and Mrs. Ruck. Hi, everybody. Hello. For our first Would You Rather question, we have Would you rather have all the stairs in your house be like chutes and ladders or have all the floors be made out of trampoline material? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my um, goodness. I can answer that right away, Romy. I would love my stairs to be like chutes and ladders because my favorite thing growing up was always the slide at the playground. And so here's the funny thing about me. I'm afraid of heights, which you probably remember, but I love, love, love the slide. I just love that feeling when you go down the slide. So I would definitely say slide, chutes and ladders slide all the way. I would choose the trampoline floors every day of the week because not only would it be fun for jumping, but it would be also very comfy to just lay on it when I'm tired. I think I have to go chutes and ladders because there's no way my dog is going to be able to navigate through the trampoline floor. Gosh, that would be the best part is seeing that. No, he's already scratching up my screens. What would he do to a trampoline floor? <laughs> Yeah, and Mr. Phillips, you have two dogs, so I don't know if you'd be really resting on the floor, <laughs> bouncing up and down. Chauncey would probably break all of his legs. <laughs> poor, poor Chauncey boy. Poor Chauncey. I would probably have it be made out of trampoline because it would be pretty fun to um, have a trampoline while playing mini basketball in my room. Oh, Dean, I didn't even yeah. think of that. Oh, yeah. Boom, Dry, mic drop. I would choose trampoline too. Yeah. Yeah. We know who the kids are in here. We yeah, that would be true. Yes. <laughs> Very true. All right, next question. Okay. Would you rather pretend to be a giant monster and be allowed to destroy Legoland or be allowed to have a paintball war in school? Paintball war in school, done. <laughs> Second, paintball war at school. And I would like to say, I was just watching, you know how you can go on those virtual um, roller coasters and rides. There was one at Legoland and I went on it and I was like, oh my gosh, it, it must have taken the Lego master so long to create these Legos. I can't imagine having them destroyed and then have to be rebuilt. I, so it would definitely be paintball war. I met one of those Lego masters. His, his name was Lego master Clint and I helped him build one of the big puzzles they have at Legoland. But anyway, sorry. Um, off topic. Anyway, I would also go with the paintball wars. I mean, there's so many cool places to run in and hide and 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 try to get paint all over. That'd be fun. Oh, I know who my target would be. Oh, stop it! You and you, you and Bird, you don't know that. You're not in my brain. Stop it. Dean, what about you? Be, I'd probably be the monster because my brother Bo builds a lot of Legos. And um, I already destroy a little bit of his Legos, so. <laughs> Classic older brother move, Hurricane Tina. Totally. Yeah. Nice, nice. What about you, Romy? Um, paintball, probably. Paintball, it'd be fun. Yeah, totally fun. Next we have, um, would you rather have all your words get jumbled during a presentation or burp constantly during your presentation? 
<laughs> it sounds like well, well, I feel sure. like during the course of my teaching career, I've had both. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, so having experienced jumbling words and burping feelings during a read aloud after lunch, I would have to go jumbling words because I think the audience would continue to be entertained by jumbling words versus being offended by the belching. It, it would be less smelly as well. My burps don't smell. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would definitely do the jumbling words. Um, again, probably because I'm most comfortable with that. I mean, that happens a lot anyways. So, you know. I would have to agree with uh, Mrs. Spurlock and Mr. Phillips. It would be jumbling words, which I have been known to do in the past. And so I'm just gonna, I'll just roll with it. Yeah. Burping, burping throat. I already jumble a lot of words when I'm on the morning announcements. Just like I have to do like three takes, and then that's only one sentence, and I have to do another one. And so I think I'm already there. Dean, I don't remember hearing you burp on the morning announcements, so that would. <laughs> I would expect an excuse me if you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or a hallelujah, whichever is appropriate. <laughs> I would go jumbling too. Jumbling. Finally, we have a special one for Mr. Phillips at Ooh. Dean's request. Ooh. Would you rather only play Animal Crossing or only play Super Mario Maker 2? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Um, oh, man. I have yet to put down Animal Crossing, and it's been since it came out. Um, I just love those villagers. They're so fun. However, Mario Maker probably has the most replayability because I'm, you can constantly make the levels. So long story short, I guess, uh, man, if I had to, it would be Mario Maker 2. Uh, but I wouldn't want to, Dean. I wouldn't want to. Love those animal villagers. Love them. <laughs> That was a good would you rather, Dean. Very yeah. creative. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Romy, Romy, I would just like to say thank you for not making it a gross would you rather. Um, Romy, I would also like to thank you for inviting <laughs> us on the show. Yeah, Romy, I am very honored to be here as your Romeo, guest. Uh, Romy, I am also honored to be here as Romy. well. Romy, as your first grade teacher prior to Mr. Phillip, I am very honored that you invited me to be here as a guest. Romy, as your current fifth grade teacher, it truly has been an honor to be on this show. Romy, I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Mr. Phillips has to have the last word. Oh, he'll keep going, so it's oh, good no. that you chose to. <laughs> gonna cut it. Yeah. Got it, got yeah. it, all right. You want to wrap it up, Romy? Yeah. See you next Wednesday. Bye. 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 Thanks, Romy. That was definitely my favorite Woody Rather so far. Now it's time for Augusta Emoji Disney Movies. Can you guess what today's movie is? Remember, as Mrs. Pabchuk told us yesterday, you can return your library books when your parents come up to Kurtz next week. Now here's a video of her reminding us. Hey Kurtz Cougars, I have missed all of you so much. And I know you've been hanging out with your friends on Google Meets and seeing your teachers that way and doing all your online learning. Well, school will be over soon. So during the week of June 8th, your parents are going to be able to come and pick up your things. And then if you would just give them your library books, then they can drop them off. That way I can get them all checked in and be ready for you in the fall. And then I'm not bugging you. Where's your library book? Also wanted to let you know that I have bought so far 
a hundred new books. And I've even bought a lot of nonfiction. So it'll be a great way to start the year in the fall. And I know that I have, I'll be buying more books over the summer. You know, I always do. So I hope everyone has a fantastic summer and I miss you and I cannot wait to the fall. Bye guys. Now here's Maggie and Gracie Bartomley with Talking to Teachers. Welcome to Talking to Teachers, where we learn more about our amazing Kurt staff. Come join us and our awesome teachers in Talking to Teachers. Hi, we are here today with everyone's favorite lunch supervisor, Mrs. Summer. Miss Summer, how long have you been worked at Kurt? Um, I have been at Kurtz for three years. What do you miss most about not being at Kurtz every day? Um, I miss seeing all of the, you guys' smiling faces, my hugs from all my regular kids, um, being outside and just running around and playing tag with you guys. What do you like about being home? Um, I like being with my cats and staying in my jammies as long as I possibly can. What is a funny memory you have from the lunchroom in the playground? A funny memory. Um, so two years ago on my birthday, the fifth grader surprised me and sang me happy birthday. Nice. What was your favorite thing to play at recess when you were in a elementary school um i liked playing tag i liked swinging on the swings what are the monkey bars um i do not like the monkey bars because i broke my arm on them in fifth or kindergarten <laughs> you can't do them to this day how many times a day do you have to tell Kids not to kick balls on the roof. Um, every day, uh, long <laughs> when I was there. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to eat for lunch? Favorite thing to eat for lunch? When I was in elementary school or in now? Now. Um, I still like a good old-fashioned peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Thank you, Miss Summers. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time with Talking to Teachers. Thanks, guys. Now please stand for the pledge. Hey, guys! Today we're going to do the pledge. A five, six, seven, eight! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks. See you tomorrow.